Today is a wonderful day and it just got better because you are here at the Children's School of Character. Hi, my name is Teacher Jen. Let's have another fun time learning about God and about life. Today, I want to show you two cups. One of them is really nice and the other one is not so nice looking. Which cup would you rather drink out of? This really nice looking cup that looks clean? Or this plain looking cup that looks like it has something on it? Which one? Most of us would want to drink out of the nice cup, right? Now, let's see what's inside each cup. Let's start with the nice cup. Ew! Is that mud? There's muddy water on the nice cup. I don't think anyone would like to drink from the nice cup anymore, right? Let's see and check the other cup. How about the second cup? Wow, it had clean water. Now, which one looks better for you? Although this one looks better on the outside, this one is better on the inside. If we had to drink water from one of these cups, we would choose the one that is clean inside, right? When Jesus walked the earth, there were many people who tried to look good on the outside by doing good things, like going to church, or dressing nice and following all the right rules. But Jesus knew that their hearts were not clean at all. They were filled with envy and greed. Jesus also saw people who didn't look as good on the outside, but their hearts were pure before God. What do you think God prefers? Someone who looks good on the outside but is dirty on the inside? Or someone who maybe doesn't look the best? or even say all the right things, but is clean inside. Jesus wants us to be clean inside. He says in Matthew 23, verses 25 to 26, that we should make sure that we clean the inside of the cup and not worry as much about the outside. Matthew 23, 25 to 26 says, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee! First, clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside also will be clean. It is important for us to make sure that we have a clean heart before God and not worry so much about what we look like on the outside. Just like what our Bible verse says today. James chapter 4 verse 8 Come near to God and He will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Now it's your turn to recite our Bible verse. James 4 8 Come near to God and He will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Jeremiah 4.14 Wash the evil from your heart, Jerusalem, so that you will be delivered. How long will you be harbor? Malicious thoughts. Let us pray, everyone. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for the gift of relationship. Thank you that we can draw near to you. I pray that we will always be pure before you, holy and pleasing before you. In Jesus' name, Amen.
you for reciting our Bible verse today and for leading today's prayer. And thanks to the teacher Christine for our arts and crafts video. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next week here at the Children's School of Character. Always remember that Jesus loves you! Bye!